Hey friends, welcome back to the Heirloom Farmstead. Today, we get to knock something off our honeydew list. My wife asked me if we could get some firewood for the winter. I told her it was kind of late notice, but I think we're in luck. I know where a couple dead standing white oaks are. And before we get there, we have to sharpen up the chainsaw. So, I'll bring you back, I'll bring you in closer, and let you see what we're doing. So I don't know how many of you's actually ever seen this tool like this it came with the new files that i bought this morning um this is the first time i'm ever using it as well but it's coming in handy it's just this particular chain is my father-in-law's it got a little uh damage on some of the teeth and i'll bring you in on the next one that i sharpen you'll see some of the damage to it, it look like it got put in the dirt a few too many times but the little tool actually does really help with it. So we're gonna see. Either way, I guess. Like that. Dig the gullet out a little bit, make sure you don't have any burrs on it. Say that tooth is done. bring y'all in close right here so you can see this tooth. All right, let's see how long it takes us. See what difference doing it this way makes. I'll put the chainsaw around. <clears throat> May get y'all behind me. Let's see for a second. Oh, it sucks. I'm taking away y'all's light. Mm, ain't too bad. Ooh. Wrong handed. Get y'all moved around to my other side. It's gonna be casting a shadow. I hope that's all right. I'm definitely not a sawyer. So, we'll see how well I do. Hopefully it comes out right. So to test this thing out, I got a couple things that got left. Down here in the back where the pigs were for the last few weeks. I was cutting them down with my brother-in-law saw he had a fuel line pop off so i kind of got cut short on that so when we finish this we'll go test this out on those last one so here we go we're gonna test it out and see if it's sharp I ain't got that much left to cut, but better than going in blind, I suppose.
Also, before we head to the woods, we got to take care of some chore items. I got to change your water out. I went ahead and fed them. I didn't. I didn't necessarily get that on camera. Bubba was down here. How the slop trough's working out for us. I think she's doing all right. But I'm gonna get you set up. And I'm gonna change this water out. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this water out. <laughs> all right, Bubba, go ahead. Plug it up yet? Yep. Well, it's not on, so. Technical difficulties. All right. Let's go over here and check it out. I can't get him alive. That hose going up right over there. There's Bubba. Spectating. Yep. Going through the hose. Into the pump that's out there. And then the electrical line running that way. But this is what it's getting pumped out of. So, utilizing what we got. So this is one of the white oaks I was talking about. And you can see right through there. It's already cracked out. That tree right there is gonna stay right there until it falls. I'm not doing anything with that one. There's a couple more, you can see how that one's dead. And then this one's top already fell out. We're gonna look at those. What we just do, Bubba? We just cut the tree down. We didn't film it because it was dead. About like that. Now he's come to show you how to bucket. I may not show them how to bucket. I gotta touch the chainsaw up a little bit. What's your favorite? 
thing about this time of year. Deer is here. Why is that? You used to love to do it. Huh? You used to love to do it. You used to? You don't love it no more? Probably not, not like I used to. And why is that? Because I can't see nothing. Maybe it's right on top of me. That's all they gotta be, right on top of you, right? And I don't wanna go across the creek, but. I wouldn't even go across the creek. Too hard to cross it. Yep. That's the reason I happened. We'll get there one day. But I ain't been there but once. Nothing but once a year. Anybody that's had a stroke, I feel for them. I'll tell them about that. There's nothing to say except I had a stroke. How long ago? A little over six years. Nine time flies, don't it? I don't know if it's flu. I don't even know what day it was. I just know it was May. And how long were you in the hospital for? A month and a half. How long were you in the coma? Um, six to eight weeks. And what would you say is the positive to take away from that situation? I'm still here. You would have said something about the coma diet. It worked. <laughs> Ain't got no choice but to work, huh? I did. How many views do we have on our big golf building? I don't know. I'll have to look. I think we're only up to like 10. Uh, something like that. I ain't looked. In the past couple days. I guess I don't like Bubba. I'm sure it's not you. All right, so do you have a favorite? A buck some more. Do you have a favorite child? Do I have a favorite child? Yeah. No. They're both the same. What, pieces of shit? They can be. Or did you have a favorite when we were growing up? It just changed every day. No, I can say I did not have a favorite child. I'm proud of both of them, what they become. Um, we packing up to leave now. Come back tomorrow and split it. back tomorrow. I'll split it. It's the next day. So we're here to split some wood. I gotta clean up a little bit like before we'll get back here and then we'll get started. But a little bit of chainsaw work before then. So here we go. <laughs>
trying to split. This is what I had to leave early for yesterday. Guy across town had it. Not too bad. Went ahead and sanded the handle, refinished it. But let's give it a test to see how it does. never know what to talk about like when I'm actually doing something A shot on that one. One down, a bunch more to go. Hold on. Want something to drink. I may just time lapse this, bring y'all back. I wanted y'all to see kind of what we're working with. You can tell. 
pine thickets right over there. Kind of shoots back that way. All these are just hardwoods. And that pine thicket's going to be a future civo pasture. But it's about that thick, but about 20 feet tall. And I know I can't get it to come through on camera. So I figured this is my next best thing. Get something close. Can y'all see how peaceful it is out here, though? Beautiful day. And we're getting there with the firewood. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this. This has happened just a few minutes ago. Actual heart. That thing is still heavy. I don't know if y'all could tell earlier. A true temper Kelly Perfect with a four pound head. Doing pretty good. The grain structure's off on the handle. Kind of goes that way. You want it to go that way. But we'll use it until we break it. Still got bugs in it. Come here. Let me show y'all. Let's see. Crawling on the ground. There's one. Now we're to the good part of the tree. Kind of looks like a red oak. There's that one. There's that one. Yeah. Oh, get up there. I'll turn it so y'all can see the color. It's actually wet. Feels wet. Yes. 
Dang it. Probably go with the grain, ain't it? <sighs> yep. Makes it a little easier. Low on that. There she went. Oh, me. Let me run over here and get this one before I forget. That's that, I reckon. Now, some people may think doing it with a hydraulic split might be more efficient. It's not nearly as enjoyable. To be honest with you, I never enjoyed using it. Of course, I was never the one splitting it either. I was always the one loading it and stacking it. That has to be the worst part. Has to be the worst part. I don't, I don't think it's too hard to pull a handle back and forth. But, just be out here, enjoy the weather. Split a little bit, get some exercise. It's hard to beat. Y'all ever try to use that little technique where you come down and flick it? It works pretty well. Yeah, there you go. See if I can get the other piece that fell off of it. It kind of just. Hey, I just wanted to let everybody know. We made it home. It's the end of the day. I'm exhausted. I ended up finishing splitting the wood. I didn't get any more footage of it. My dad helped me load it up and load it into the truck. But, man, I'm tired. Movements I'm not really used to, so. I don't know where my wife wants me to put it. But... As far as measuring, I think it's about a third of a cord, somewhere in that range. Not a whole lot, but enough for what we're going to use it for. Hey friends, I just wanted to apologize that I was unable to get any footage of me stacking the wood. But as you see in the picture, that's how much we ended up getting. I know it wasn't a whole lot, but it sure felt that way. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I look forward to the next one. Y'all have a good one.